fucking Lucario Incineraris! And wait, what the hell happened? What the hell? How's it going, everyone? You it's your Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be checking out the Pokemon Journeys Episode 48 preview trailer. Let's get it going. Now, guys, make sure you show the original video some love. Links to all the stuff will be in the description box down below. Let's get into this, guys. Episode 48. Woo! All right. Let's do this, baby. Oh, yummy! Oh, that looks good! Hey, Lucario with Cinderace! Hey, wait, what the hell happened? What the hell? What was to- uh-oh! There's- there's the Team Rocket trying to swap Pikachus. Hey, okay, <laughs> what the, What was with Cinderace and Lucario being stuck to one another? Like, what- what the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm already looking forward to next week's episode. What the hell? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into this, fam. So kicking off this preview, we see that this episode is the continuation of episode 47, where we have ourselves Ash and Go traveling to the Unima region as part of the prize from the Pokemon eating contest, where now they get to indulge in the all-you-can-eat gourmet food food tour that has taken place in the Unova region. Now, I just have to ask, what is the deal with Lucario and Cinderace being stuck together here? How did that even happen? You know what I'm saying? I'm racking my brain, and unless it had something to do with Team Rocket attempting to trap them or stick them together or something like that, I don't even know what the deal is with them being literally bound to one another. Like, we have ourselves go casually sitting and eating some cake, big, huh? Where is Cinderace and Lucario? And we see Lucario and Cinderace flying in the background. That's got to be one of the funniest things I have seen in this preview. Like, what the hell, man? Now, of course, we have ourselves Team Rocket attempting to catch Ash's Pikachu by swapping it with their almost Pikachu. So... I don't even know how on earth this is going to work. I don't know how they're going to manage to pull this off, but it's going to be one hell of an experience seeing how this is all going to go down, basically. And then we see more scenes where it involves poor Lucario and Cinderace still being stuck together, and it looks like that they just about had enough of that day. It's just like, oh my god, can this day please be over? Like, they're just dizzy, they're worn out. I feel kind of bad for them, you know what I'm saying? And we also have ourselves Ash's Pikachu noticing Team Rocket's almost Pikachu, and I'm really, really curious, again, how Team Rocket's plan is going to pan out here. You know what I'm saying? They have for over 20 years tried to steal Ash's Pikachu, but to no avail. So I gotta ask, what makes their plan taking place in this episode that much better than all of their other previous plans? You know what I'm saying? This episode looks like it's going to be filled with shenanigans and filled with good old laughter, and I cannot wait to get into it. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, guys, smash it up in the comments down below. Because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will. That ain't ever going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And as always, your boy will see you guys in the next one.